Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I have what I think is a new challenge that I haven't seen anyone else do on YouTube. Now saying that, I know it's pretty much impossible to do anything original these days. So if someone has done it, then please let me know because I'd love to give them credit. But in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to let Siri choose my makeup. Hey Siri, are you ready to choose my makeup? Hmm, that's something I don't know. Great. So while Siri makes up her mind as to whether or not she even wants to play, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly go through the kind of rules, I guess. So I have here a little list of all the products that I'm gonna be using on my face or like foundation, primer, concealer, that sort of thing. And so for example, I'm gonna ask Siri, I'm just gonna say, hey Siri, search foundation primer. Here's what I found on the web for foundation primer. Okay, cool. Have a look. Thank you, I will. And what it's come up with, it's come up with a like selection of websites. I'm gonna go on the first website that comes up. And this is a super drug one. I'm gonna scroll down and the first product that I have in my collection, I'm gonna be using whether I like it or not. So the first thing I have here is the Rimmel Match Perfection Fix and Perfect Pro Primer Shade 2. So I'm gonna write that down, go upstairs, go into my makeup collection, grab everything, come back down, and then we'll try and make a look out of it. So then to make it a little bit more interesting for myself, when I have my palette, when Siri very kindly chooses me my palette, what I'm gonna do is however many colors there are in that palette, I'm gonna ask Siri to pick a number between one and however many colors there are. So say for example, there's a palette with 10 eyeshadows, I'll say, hey Siri, pick a number between one and 10. And I have to do this five times, and in that order, I have to create a look. And then just to make it even harder for myself, I'm gonna ask her to pick a random color and that is what I'll be using on my lips. Fingers crossed this works. Let's get into it. Okay, so like we found earlier, for primer, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Match Perfection Fix Primer. So I'm just gonna write that down just so I don't forget. Siri, what's my name? You're sexy lady, but you asked me to call you sexy lady. Sexy lady. Search liquid foundation. Okay. I found this on the web for liquid foundation. Here we go. And what have we got here? So we've got the Max, Max Factor Ageless. Okay, I have this. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Liquid Foundation. Okay. Hmm. There's nothing to read. This girl, I swear to God. So next, I'm going to pick two different concealers. Okay, let's search for under eye concealer. Okay. I found this on the web for under eye concealer. Okay. So this is actually an article. So let's see... 14 of the best under eye concealers tested on her face. Okay, let's see which first one comes up. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, I have that. So then we'll search for a regular concealer. So search concealer. First thing that comes up is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. Okay, search translucent powder. Again, super drug. So what we have here is the Revolution Baking Powder, don't have that, and the Elf High Definition Powder. I think I have that. Search contour powder. Super drug again. Right, let's see what else we have. Ooh, Nip and Fab Makeup Contour Palette. I have that. I haven't used that in so long. Search bronzer. Here's what I found on the web for bronzer. Bronzer. I think I have that. The bourgeois one. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, it's my dad calling me. Yo, dad. Hello, All right, so next. Search blusher. So another super drug website one. Do, 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 do. What is this? Okay, Rimmel, no, don't have that. Sleek, don't have that. All right, so then here we have the Lottie London blush. So I think I've got one of those colors. Here's what I found on the web for powder highlighter. What have we got? No, I don't like this one. That's not powder highlighter. CYO cools a coconut cooling bronzing stick. I don't like that one. Search mascara, Masterpiece Max. The first one that comes up is my fave. So the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Search brow pencil. Another fave. Soap and Glory Archery. Hey Siri. Search brow gel. Okay, it's come up with Wonder Brow. That's the first product that I have. But it's not really a gel, but okay. Search false lashes. So it's come up with falseeyelashes.co.uk. I think I actually have these. These are the first things that came up. The Stevie Lashes from Red Cherry. Okay, so then we're gonna move on to eyeshadow palette. So, hey Siri, search eyeshadow palette. Let's come up with Cult Beauty. That's a good choice. Okay, so what we have is the Huda palette, the new Anastasia one, don't have that. Lime Crime, Huda Huda. All right, so the only thing I have next is this guy, the Super Bright Morphe palette. So let's put that down, that could be fun. Oh, I didn't pick an eyeliner, okay. Do I have any of these? These are all very fancy liners. 
Oh, I think I have that actually. The Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. And then for lipstick, all I'm gonna do is say, hey Siri, choose a random color. She's thinking. Check the display on your iPhone for the answer. Blue. Great. Uh, so now I'm gonna head on upstairs, pick out all these products, and I will check back with you guys so we can put it on my face. All right, I'm back with cat ears. So bad news, I managed to find everything apart from the brow pencil, the Soap and Glory brow pencil. So I did another little search and it came up with this this one from Rimmel. So first of all, as directed by Siri, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Fix and Perfect uh, Makeup Primer 002. I think I used this a while ago and I'm pretty sure it's just like a moisturizer. Yo, this primer is so good. I remember using it in a testing Rimmel video, I think it was, and I need to use this more actually, because this feels really nice. It's like a moisturizer, also kind of like perfects your pores a little bit. Love that, so thanks Siri. For foundation, I'm then gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match, which I haven't used in the longest time. Um, hopefully this is my color. Yeah, color ain't half bad, okay. So far, so good. Hey Siri. Sing me a song. Okay, if you insist, I could while away the hours. Conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain, and my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching. If I only had a... Hey, wait a second. What? You know what? I'm not mad about this foundation. I forgot that I actually quite liked it. So then for under eye concealer, Siri told me to use the Too Faced Born This Way, which isn't my usual under eye concealer, but it's my usual concealer, so... I'm pretty happy with the outcome of that. A little bit on my lids as well. I should have told her to recommend me an eye primer, but hey ho. I think the only time I've ever used this as an under eye concealer was in my testing video when I discovered that I love this stuff. Okay, that ain't too bad. Would like some more coverage, but it looks pretty good. I'll then move on to the Makeup Revolution Concealer, which Siri told me to use on my face, so over like any blemishes or whatever. This stuff has good coverage, so I'm very happy about using this. So then I'm gonna use something that I have not used in the longest time. It's the e.l.f. HD, I think that's what it's called, the e.l.f. HD setting powder. It just looks like this. Oh my god, this is going everywhere. This stuff is super finely milled. Like, oh my lord, is this like... This just goes everywhere. So I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. Just, I, just, just a little bit. I just kind of press that under my eyes. Ooh, very smooth. I used to really like this when I was first starting out with makeup, but we'll see. Oh, I've got it on the side of my nose there, no worries. So then what I'll do is I'll take a fluffy brush and just pop that in the lid, swirl it all around. Okay, I can see this stuff. This stuff flashes back. I can just, whoa. What was I thinking back then? I used to like layer this stuff on my face, but now I can see with all my lights that this stuff is just making me look super pale. Let's see if this has got flashback. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it will. Whoa. And to think I used to walk around with that all over my face. Ooh, shout out to Siri for making me look like crap. So next we move on to contouring. So I have the Nip and Fab contouring palette. Think I'm gonna go in with this shade, maybe like a mixture of these two here. So I'm just gonna take this angle brush. I haven't used this in so long. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Oh, that's good for under my jaw. So oh, we've got a little hair clip stuck to that. I do have the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. So I'll take my usual F42 brush and I'm just gonna swirl it into the chocolate side because I have the one with the highlighter in it as well. For some reason, everything is just looking a bit patchy on this side. Look at that, I've got like a bit of a stripe. Okay, it's not awful. This side looks okay. Doesn't look amazing, but we've definitely had a lot worse. I'm then gonna use this Lottie London blusher. So take some of that and pop that on my cheeks. Oh, just remember what the highlighter is that I have to use. It's not even a freaking highlighter. It's like a contouring stick. And I've got to use it over powder as well. Great. So then for highlighter, I got this thing. This is the, what is this even called? It's like the Coco, the Cooling Bronzing Stick in Medium Dark. I tried this in my recent testing CYO makeup video and I thought it was a contour stick. There's a little bit of shimmer to it, but I mean, it's definitely too dark for me, I think it's safe to say. But there's really like nothing to it, to be quite honest, but I have to use it. Siri told me to do it, so let's just see if I can apply it over my foundation to start off with, like over my powder. Ooh, just looks really ashy on me because it's a dark one. 
Oh, we're literally just ruining it all now. There's barely even any bloody shine to it. I even asked Siri for a powder highlighter and she gives me this. She gives me a cream or a stick and it's not even a highlighter. It's like some sort of like bronzing stick. If I can blend this out, even if it goes super sheer and even if you can't even see it, I still have it on my face technically. I think that's the best we're gonna be able to do. Cannot believe Siri will play me like that and not let me have a freaking highlighter. So next, we'll move on to brows. So I'm just gonna brush these bad boys through. And for the brow gel, she gave me Wonder Brow, which isn't really a brow gel. Kind of is, I guess, but this isn't a brow gel, let's be real. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this on an angled brush, cause I'm sneaky. And I'm just gonna kind of run that through my brows just to kind of tint them a bit. That's not too bad. So then for brow pencils, I have this one from Rimmel. It is the professional eyebrow pencil. The one I have is in the shade black brown. And I'll just kind of like add to whatever I just did with the Wonder Brow. All right, brows aren't looking too bad. So next we'll move on to the eyeshadow palette. So this is the 35C from Morphe. A lot of colors there, a lot of colors. And what I'm gonna do is ask Siri to pick a number between one and 35, because there are 35 shadows here. And then whatever she chooses, I'm gonna have to use. I'm gonna do that five times and then that's gonna be the look. Okay, cool. So let's start off with our crease. So, hey Siri, pick a number between one and 35. Random number between one and 35 is 23. 23. I was hoping she'd choose like, you know, maybe like the top 10 or something. Okay, so what have we got? We're on seven, 14, 21, 22, 23. Great. So we're going straight in with a red. Cool. Great, and I'll pop that in the crease. Also just dawned on me that I've got a blue lipstick to wear in a bit. I'm gonna literally be looking like the Union Jack. So next. Random number between one and 35 is five. I can do five. Five is, five is this brown color here, this one. So five is this one here. I can do that. And I'm gonna pop it on my lower lash line first. To kind of wing that out a bit. Okay, it's looking a little bit crazy right now, but I feel like it doesn't look too insane yet. Random number between one and 35 is 27. So 27 is this little, ugh, just smack my head with the Morphe palette then. This is number 27. I mean, I guess at least it kind of goes with the reds, I guess. Where am I gonna put this? Okay, so I'm gonna take that color, put my brush in there. I feel like I'm gonna play it safe for the minute and just put that on my inner corner and just maybe put it like slightly under the crease. I actually quite like these two colors together, you know? You know what? I'm not hating this so far. I'm gonna hate it when I put the blue lip on. Definitely gonna hate it when I do that. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Okay, we've got two colors to go. So, hey Siri, pick a number between one and 35. The answer is 26. So that's not that bad. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Take that guy there. Kind of like work it into my crease, but also mostly on my outer corner. Should I even like work a little bit on my lower lash line? I'm doing it. Okay, whatever color I'm choosing in a minute, or series choosing, that's gonna go in my inner corner. It could be green. It could be black. Who knows? Pick a number between one and 35. Random number between one and 35 is three. Are you joking me? Are you at the darkest color there is? Great. This is not gonna be good, right. How pigmented even is this black? Mm. All right, let's just, let's just bloody do it. Yep. Here we flipping go. You know what, I'm gonna almost try and do a cut crease with this, or like a half cut crease, because I feel like that's the only thing I can do to make this anything. Fuck you, Siri, fuck you. See this, I was like, you know what? Even with like a blue lip, I'm like, you'd look a bit crazy, Steph, but it it's kind of there. This, not so much. Uh... Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for a second. Just for a second, because next I'm gonna move on to liner. So what I have here is the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner. All right, let's just fully wing this out. 
feel like the wings oddly helping. All right, so the wing liner is on. And again, I'm gonna leave it for a second. I'm feeling like I might fill in my waterline, but I wanna see what the mascara looks like first. So next I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which I love. Just wanna see what it kind of looks like with mascara. And see what we can kind of do with this thing. So before I do my waterline, I'm gonna take the Red Cherry Stevie Lashes. I cannot believe I actually had these. Um, I think I like these. I think they're just like fairly standard. Still can't believe we have to put a blue lipstick with this in a minute. So I'll leave those lashes to dry for a second. And I'm gonna take this tiny little brush and load that up. This is gonna be for my waterline. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do this. You know what, I'm actually quite happy that Siri chose a gel liner. I don't like gel liners that much, but this is kind of saving my ass. To be honest, I think that's probably the best the eyes are gonna get. The blending is awful. This is definitely one of the worst looks I've done here on my channel. So then for the lips, let's just let's just do this. So I'm gonna be using the Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick from Rimmel. Um, this one, let me just see. Yeah, I'd say that's probably about the same sort of color that Siri told me to use, so let's just go in. This look can't get much worse, so let's just friggin' do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. And we are done. I'm trying to fix my hair just so I can look kind of like edgy or something, but it's just not working. It just looks shit. Hey Siri. How do I look? Checking my sources, confirmed. My sources say you're looking mighty fine. She's lying. You know what, for once, I'm not even gonna ask you guys what you think of this makeup look. Don't even wanna know. If you guys did enjoy this video and if you enjoyed watching me suffer, then first of all, and second of all, please do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, if you do decide to do this video, then tag me in your pictures or leave a comment linking me to your video or something like that. I would love to see what you guys end up looking like. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Siri, why would you do this to me? Interesting question, sexy lady.